I want to share a, a, a small anecdote before I start. Uh, it's going to be short. I'm, I'll assure you that. Uh, three years back, I bought a cell phone online from www.shopping.something.something.com. I don't want to reveal the name. I bought a, um, um, a 9700 Blackberry. And um, after I placed the order, it, they told me it take 10 working days for them to deliver the uh, cell phone to me. I said, it's fine. It was fine with me. But then after four days, I grew restless. I needed this phone. So I went and I cancelled the order. I placed. A, I I walked down the brick and mortar. I walked down to a store and bought it. Three years down the line, I went back to the same store, same www.shopping.whatever.com. Um, I bought the latest uh, phone there again, and I thought it's three years down the lane, and the phone price had gone down very very much. I uh, so everything has improved. So probably I'll get my phone in three days. So I placed the order. They said now it's going to take you 12 working days. So three years down the line, same website, same customer went. Still, the, uh, the kind of service that I got was, had become worse. It had not improved. Uh, so one important thing which ev I mean, everybody has been talking about since, since morning is uh, uh, customer focus. Right? You need to focus on your customer. Um, if it is a brick and mortar store, cust concentrating on your customer is easier. He comes, he walks in, you talk to him, you know what he wants, you know why he's making those decisions. Uh, probably somebody who's selling it to him uh, can make instantaneous decisions and uh, uh, convert him into a transaction and a sale. But if it is an online e-commerce e portal, who does that job? It, that job is done by a software, right? A software is one. It's taking instantaneous decisions. It is telling it is telling the customer probably you want to buy this, or if he's taking something off the shopping cart, it's probably giving him a suggestion. Probably you want to check out the EMI option. So it is. It is a software that is doing this, and then for the software to do this, it is, it needs intelligence, right? So where does this intelligence comes from? It has to come from um, something that works like a brain. So let us see how analytics works like a brain for you at the front end, and it is customer facing. So it is very very important, right? So I'll skip this slide because it's yeah, here. I'm just trying to tell you that typical company growth is like that. If you are uh, if you have analytics, you can uh, keep innovating and coming up with new things and the growth can improve. So I'll just skip this slide. So what is, what is this analytics? What is the analytics that you will do to make a customer uh, into a transaction, into a sale? Right? He's in, on your site and you want to make them sale. So basically you have data. If you're a startup, yes, I agree, you don't have data. You don't have data about what has happened on your site. Right? You have just started up. But if you're not aware that you, these are the kind of uh, information that I need to capture, so that in the future I need to, uh, I, I need to innovate, right? So data points are important not only for people who already have data; it's also important for people who are starting up, so that they know what data to capture. Right? So data somehow becomes decisions, right? All of us are. There were so many questions here, which were uh, which was about decisions. People wanted a decision: how much should be my marketing spend? How much should be this? How much should be that? How do I, how do I make my uh, uh, social media message viral, right? So these are the questions that we all ask and we all answer every day. We don't have this session every day. We don't have this expert panel here to answer to us, right? give, a, give us an answer. So we have to, we keep answering these questions every day and then we do it based on the data that we have. You might be looking at a spreadsheet or you might be because some, you saw something or you have experienced something. So the, even that is the data, right? So you are taking this data, analyzing your data and then converting it into addition. So analytics is a, a, is is something that's happening automatically. You are doing analytics every day on a daily basis. It depends on who is doing it. If you are doing it, are you facing the customer? No. If you are, uh, there has to be some analytics that faces the customer and analyzes him and makes, gives him a better experience. So analytics is not just about reports. You might think that oh, I, I, I just take a script uh, from uh, analytics, google.analytics.com, put it on my site and I get reports. It's not just about getting reports. It's not just about seeing what is happening in your website. It's also about integrating that information into your decision making system on a daily basis. If you don't do that, there is no, in, there is no use of those reports, obviously. So analytics involves both analysis of the data and also decision making. So decision making process itself is, is, is analytics. So, um, so we always want to take a cue from the best in the industry, right? Who, who is the best analytical engine, or who can make decisions? I mean, who, 
who whom have you seen in the industry or in the whole world who makes best decisions and based on the data wife a wife makes the best decisions i agree but inside the wife there is this brain right it's <laughs> uh, i hope so <laughs> okay uh, so the it is it is this brain that makes the decision right so now um, brain works in two ways right whenever somebody is building an analytical engine you analyze something that does a better job you know what they are doing and you and we try to mimic it mimic it and improve it there are two ways in brain makes decision and there are two ways in which you people make decisions businesses make decision one is a fast automatic and high volume decision right you make decisions uh, uh, thousands of decisions right uh, your employees are making hundreds and thousands of decisions per day same way your website is making hundreds and thousands of decisions probably per minute right uh, uh, redif.com has 70 million page views happening in a day so every page view that happens is a decision right you need an analytics engine that can that is that should be able to handle that much a brain cannot handle that but uh, a system uh, probably can the other system is uh, there is a system two in our brain uh, some people call it the lower and the higher brain right so the higher brain makes decisions slowly but uh, it it is resource intensive and this is something that you have to do on a uh, not on uh, not on a per second basis on a, in a day probably you do some uh, a few hundreds of these decisions uh, there is a small uh, um, exercise here i want all of you to concentrate if you can please so system 1 um, i want all of you to concentrate look at the screen and uh, not make any decision okay but i'm sure some i wanted to ask this questions but then it's going to take time i'm sure anger or frustration something like this came into your mind as soon as you saw this right even though you told your mind not to make this decision even though i told you not to make this decision your mind automatically made it and uh, you did not put any resource you did not waste any resource on it so these are the fast decisions that we are making even in business we are making these fast decisions i'll just show you the next one now when you saw this number some of you might have started multiplying it or some of but you do not get the answer right you it takes time to bring those numbers to our table the tables to our number everybody does multiplication in a different way so it takes time to ta to make these decisions so there are two kinds of decisions which people make there are two kinds of decisions which also companies make so let us see how analytics will help you make both these kinds of decisions in a better way right we uh, it is unavoidable to make these decisions but let us make informed decisions and how is this how is it, how is a decision going to be informed if you have data to support it and if you have a good logical analytical system so decisions are the three attributes of a decision is uh, the speed at which you make the decisions the accuracy is important and the cost of making the decision itself you go and buy an analytics solution from site analytics i say site analytics is great buy uh, uh, buy a enterprise license for uh, 30 lakhs but you are on a, the cost of making the decision has to be uh, uh, commensurate with what you are going to get out of it the next one is the cost of implementing the decision itself so all these fa factors will matter in what decisions you take i'll skip the slide we'll go to the next one so types of business decisions right a analytical system always um, categorizes everything that it sees even the decisions that it gives out it categorizes it into different things so one of the kind of decisions that we take is are the type one decisions type one decision is how do i make a sale right people have come to my website they are on my home page they are looking at this product some people have put something on the in the inside the shopping cart so there are so many things happening and and the system is making decisions if it was a brick and mortar store the guy who standing there is looking at this guy yeah, probably this guy can afford something more i'll show him something better so he's making those decisions so same decisions are made by your e-commerce site right he is he i am looking at a book it says that people who bought this book also saw these books right? or people who bought this product also bought these products or if you are buying a cell phone it will try to sell you some cell phone accessory so these decisions are being made but these decisions are being made at at real time and hundreds and thousands of decisions are made in a second in in most of the in most of the cases so your analytic system not necessarily has to be the best logical system it also has to be responsive it has to be fast it has to scale up with your business uh, you can't take uh, 30 seconds to make the decision what product to uh, show next right you you should the decision has to be made within uh, half a second right so you have to choose an analytic system that uh, that enables you to do that 
The second kind of decision is something that you make uh, on a daily basis, but then it is not real time. It is not affecting your customer at real time. What is happening is th those decisions are affecting uh, your uh, the things that you do to acquire a customer, to make a customer come to your site. The third one is, should I get into a new product space? Should I be also be selling CDs along with books? So these are the bigger decisions that we take. We take uh, lesser number of these decisions, and then uh, the, we don't know. The risks are higher in these decisions. Um, the point I'm trying, trying to drive in with this slide is that if you use analytics properly, it can help you in taking decisions in all, in all these types. So let us just quickly type one, type two, type three. Only three more slides, and you, and it's lunch for you. Don't worry. So, type one decisions uh, on how to make a sale. If they are instantaneous, unavoidable. So you could not avoid thinking uh, about anger when you saw that photo. Same way, when a customer types a URL, you, you you have no choice. You have to show him a page. You have to show him a web page. What page do I show? Is it's a it's it, it's a decision. So it's unavoidable, and then high volume. So what are the kind of decisions we make in an e-commerce site? We make recommendations, right? Product recommendations, some service recommendations we make in a site. Or uh, some layout and design change. I mean, this guy came from a resolution 400 by 600 to something else. So there's a, some other resolution that has come up. So I, I need to show him a, a different kind of a page. So those kind of decisions we make. And then you make decisions on what promotions to promote on your site based on where they came from. So these are the decisions that we make at, in a brick and mortar store also, in online stores also. So in an online store, when I'm making these decisions, what is it that the analytic system gives to help me make these decisions? So uh, after this, you, you can probably walk down to the Microsoft stall there. We are with Microsoft uh, on site analytics. You can see a demo of the site. I wanted to show us demo of site analytics, but I cannot do that in interest of time. You can see uh, that uh, you can use this action analytics, path analysis, A-B testing, behavior analysis, or uh, even uh, product segmentation. So these are the kinds of, uh, of uh, things that you can do with an analytic system, like site analytics. There are other products also, but then I am from site analytics, so I'm going to say that site analytics does all this better than anybody else. But uh, it is for you to come and see. And uh, there is a trial version of site analytics, e-commerce portals, you know, they are, they are just beginning. You can just download it, uh, just get the script. There's no downloadable. You just register for free. It's a script. You just place it on your website. And then uh, within 30 seconds, you can see what is happening on your site. You just, it gives you a log, user ID password. And uh, you can see what is happening on your site. And you can see all these uh, analytics that you are, uh, whether we are talking about here. Uh, type 2 decisions, how to get a customer timely. It has to be done in a timely fashion. It has to be done daily, because daily we want to think about how to get new customers. And then uh, we do quite a few of these. It's, it may not be hundreds in per second, but we do quite a few of these. So what are the kind of decisions that an e-commerce portal will take for this? What, do I, what are the online campaigns? There are some, so many questions regarding this, right? You people were asking. Unfortunately, the panel will not be there to answer. It's your, it's your own data that has to give you answers to these questions every day, in and out. So online campaigns, what do I do in my SEO, SEM? How, what keywords should I optimize for? Or, uh, what, how do I manage uh, uh, the blogs that I have? Or, uh, uh, offline advertisement also, right? Uh, like Flipkart.com, somebody said TV ads are there. So even if I have uh, TV ads, what, where should I show my TV ads? If I show it in Sri Lanka, it doesn't make a sense. I mean, probably it makes sense. I don't know if Flipkart is in Sri Lanka. but um, So you, you, the decisions that you make even for offline marketing can be driven from the data that you have collected from users that have come to your website. You, it, you don't just have the data of where they came from, you also have data about how they came to your site. Did they use the word, did they use a product keyword, or did they use a keyword related to your company, or did they use a keyword related to a geography, and then your site came up in the, uh, in the search engine and then it came here. So it's not just important where they came from, it's also important to know how they came to your site. Okay. Uh, so those are the other kinds of uh, uh, answers that the analytics engine will give you. Source analysis, keyword analysis, geographical segmentation, customer segmentation, and things like that. Decisions that we take, which are blind in terms of, see, there is analytics. For analytics, we said there is, you need data, right? But uh, there is an analytics which, when you don't have data, right? Analytics on no data. That's a blind spot. So some, of, some, some blind spot that you might have is, uh, you, you have certain keywords 
which are working for you and people are landing on your site. But then there are some keywords which people are using, but they're not landing on your site. Right? Uh, actually, this insight came to us from one of our, uh, we were, we were one of the sessions like this. We were there and some, somebody stood up and they asked, uh, I am using Google Analytics and um, I know what keywords people are using and how, my, how many times when they use this keyword, they're landing on my site. I know that. But I don't know what keywords people are using and not landing on my site. I had no answer for it. I thought, I mean, I'm from technology, right? I, I said, what kind of question is this? I mean, it, it sounds stupid. If people are using some keywords somewhere and then um, uh, they're not landing on my site, how will I even ever know, right? So the, uh, at that time, it felt stupid. And uh, now I feel stupid for thinking that it was stupid. But um, that is something that you can do now. That is something that you can do with social media analytics, right? You, you can you can plug into the conversations that are happening. You can see what people are talking about, what are the hot topics. Uh, Shraddha just said uh, trending topics, right? So that's what people are doing online. So uh, that gives you insights on what is happening online and you, uh, how you can utilize it. So can you utilize it. So social media analytics is a module that we are, we are also still working on and uh, hopefully it will uh, happen very soon. Um, so the so all the three kinds of decisions can be taken can be aided by um, cogent analytics. This is the last slide, then, then then it's lunch. Analytics is a process; it's not just a tool. So people think, oh, do you have analytics? Yes, I have installed analytics engine. It's not a it's not just a tool. You need a tool, but it's a process, and you need to build it into your system, into your organization. Analytics should uh, should power. Uh, you cannot be taking any of the decisions without consulting your analytics engine that you have, especially when you are e-commerce. And uh, sustainable growth is only possible if you are able to use the data that you already have. If you always keep thinking of outside intervention, some, some new idea coming to you and, and uh, the growth uh, multiplying, it's, I mean, that, that's good. If it happens, that's great. But uh, you can always rely on the data that you have to improve yourself. So that's all I had to say about site analytics. I rushed through this so that we can have lunch. Uh, I, I should, uh, first thing I should thank uh, you, your story for giving us this opportunity. And then um, uh, this product that we thought about three years back would not be possible if there was no cloud computing. Because uh, we had customers like rediv.com for whom we had to give this product and there were 70 uh, million page views happen per day. And then the amount of servers that we need um, uh, was tremendous. And uh, when we did the plan, it, it was not possible. The product idea was there, there was a customer, but then we could not, we would not be able to ha handle this if the cloud was not there. And uh, we just started with uh, infrastructure as a service, like how Vikram was telling. But then now with, uh, with Microsoft giving us the platform as a service, uh, our scalability has increased immensely. So next year, uh, our plans are, uh, have changed drastically because of, uh, how, of the services that we are getting from uh, Microsoft Azure. And uh, right now, uh, there are three kinds of uh, pricing that we have. One, one is the trial version that everybody can download and use, and uh, you can actually use it for three months or more than that. We, I, we can just talk about it and figure out. Uh, there are three more versions based on what, what kind of analytics you need. Uh, there is an e-commerce module also, uh, which in the trial version also it's available, but uh, uh, there are three packages uh, which you can uh, choose from. And there is enterprise license, which I think, I don't think this audience is, will be interested in. Uh, so just, I mean, just consider siteanalytics.com if you are doing analytics. But for sure, consider analytics when you are making decisions. Thank you.